that, that there's a mathematician, I understand the science and the technology behind the car. As a fighter pilot, I'm used to the G, the supersonic, the jet engines, and a, an awful lot of the technology involved. Um, and apart from that, it's just staying as fit you know, as I need to be to take the G-forces, the heat, the long working days. You've got a little bit of a sense of why we've come here to the Northern Cape. This surface, in terms of its hardness, its consistency, um, the weather factor here. And as the pilot flew me in uh, yesterday to Uppington, he said, yeah, we're now uh, going to the Northern Cape and the weather is, well, the weather's great. It's always great in the Northern Cape. <laughs> and do you know what? When you're running a land speed record, six months of guaranteed weather doesn't get any better than that. We cleaned the, 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 the track for the, for the car. We're going to set the, the fastest uh, record uh, about 1,600 kilometers per hour. We clean the track and we pick up the stones and even the little smaller stone we pick it up because why the smaller stone can even cause the biggest accident. That's, that's why it was a pleasure for me being part on, on this project. environmentally to protect this surface and the environment around it. So there is no spillages, there's, you know, nothing leaks out of the car, nothing, uh, you know, we, we're not allowed to put anything on the desert other than vegetable dye we're actually going to use to paint the, uh, the tracks. So we have lots of good reasons to come here. This track is astonishing.